When are you going to stop messing with me? I'm not, I'm not messing with you. I'm, I'm... You what? Sick? Twisted? Why would you tell me that? Why would you want me to believe it? Because it's true. You deserve the truth. Are you that desperate for attention? Chas killed Carl. I killed Carl. Debbie, I killed Carl to protect us. Oh, good to off. protect the family. You, Sarah, the baby, the unborn baby, you were pregnant at the time. If there were complications, he was threatening all sorts. I couldn't let him send that picture. He did send that picture. Yeah, I know, and I wish I'd stopped him. I'm sorry. I want you to see that. I get you. I understand you, OK? That I love you, I care about you, always have, I always will. So, you killed Carl to stop him from hurting me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Chaz killed him to stop him from attacking her. So either Carl died twice or someone is lying. Everything Chaz said is true. Up to a point. I mean, she, she really thought she killed him. She, she must have bit him hard. He wasn't a small bloke, but he went down, you know? But anyway, listen, I saw her just after. She was running past the house. She, I mean, it was obvious something had happened, but I didn't know what at the time, you know? She looked terrified. She was crying. She had makeup running down. She was still in a wedding dress, which was. I knew. No, I knew it was him. I knew, I knew something had. You know, because I, I'd, I'd seen him earlier, right? I, I met him at the church. We'd arranged to meet, which, by the way, is why I wasn't at the hospital, you know, because I wanted to finish it. I wanted to end it once and for all, but you weren't having any of it. <sighs> so... So she'd come running from the garage and I went round to have a look. And there he was, on the floor, trying to crawl, covered in blood. I mean, he wanted me to help him up, and I was going to, you know, because, I mean, the guy needed a hospital. He, he was going to destroy us, Debbie. He, he kept me from you. He kept me from the birth. Yeah, you made your own choice. No, I chose to try and stop it. I grabbed him, I yanked him up, and I gave him one last warning. You know what he did? He laughed. He got himself up. I mean, God knows how much blood the guy's lost. It's like he was running on pure adrenaline. But he got himself up and he threatened me. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to ruin your life and yours. Deb, I mean, he was saying... His... <sighs> it, well, he'd obviously sent the text by then, which is why it was all, you know, you know. But I warned him. I warned him, but he wouldn't listen. He wouldn't back down. He wasn't going to go away, Debs. Unbeatable. I'm, I'm indestructible, his words. Indestructible. So I hit him with a brick as hard as I could. And I knew straight away because of the sound it made that it was... He wasn't... I knew he was dead. I've needed to tell you all that for so long. OK. It's a relief, to be honest with you. How am I supposed to feel? I don't want you to kill someone for me. So when did you tell Jazz? Did she just sit in court and lie? She wouldn't know. She wouldn't know. Jazz doesn't know. So who does know? Just you. And no one else can ever find out, Debbie. Wondering how I could let Chaz carry on believing she did it. How I could let her go through the trial. Debbie, come and sit down. I'm just and she was always going to get off, you know. Carl attacked her. It was self defence, an accident, everything she told the police in the court. Is that the bit where you killed him? Yeah, for you. Don't! And for us. As a, as, a, as a couple, as a family. We're not a couple, Cameron, we're not a family. Yeah, but I've never stopped wishing we were. You told me to move on, I don't know how many times. Yeah, no, that was me telling myself to move on for Chaz's sake, you know what? To make the best of it. But, 
But I couldn't, could I? Because I didn't stop hoping to be an ass. So you can put me through the stuff you put Chaz through? No, no, no. See, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. And that's the, that's the thought that struck me in the court. In fact, way before then, when she was first arrested, I could have stood up and stopped it. I could have said something. And time and time and time again, I've asked myself, could I do this if it was Debbie? And the answer is no. No way. Not a chance. Be so much stronger. Okay. Come on. Listen, no, no, no. no I'll bring it back. No, Come on, I just want a drink. No, you can't leave. Okay, not now. You just can't. I'm not keeping you here. So I can go then? No, listen, just not at the moment. So you are keeping me? Baby, I just need you to see, I need you to listen. No, Cameron! I've heard enough! Why have you told me all this? Because I've, because I've told you enough lies, I've kept enough from you, and because you told me about you and Chaz, and I understand it. I just wanted your life to be good, and Carl was going to stop that. No. You stop that. You stop that when you slept with Chaz. Take that away, and what did he have to hold over you? It only happened with Chaz when you told me about Oh! And... Don't you dare! Don't you go down the Andy Road! Don't you dare tell me this is my fault! <laughs> Victoria, are you kidding me? What choice did I have? What are you giving me? You'll be fine. It's okay, it's all right. Debbie? It's at the door. Hello? Hey, Mummy. We're in later than I thought. One more call back in a bit. Thank you. Hmm. hmm. You do know this is a barn? Yeah, and it's also summer. Uh, hang on. Is this going to get wild? Well, you are looking at two people who have been known to wild it up in the past. Mm -hmm. Can you remember that far back, Neff? Oh, I'll never forget. Best days of my life. Mm, really? Poor you. Mm. <laughs> All right, come on, girls. Less talking, more getting trolled. Yeah, go on, then. I'll just have one, though, eh? Take it easy. You're bright and breezy. I always am. Yeah, it's just nice to see you're not fretting over your friend, I mean. Yeah, well, you've got to live. Uh, shall I open this? Yeah, well, that's what they're there for. Who's this friend? No one. Uh, red or white? Oh, I'll open both. <laughs> Explains why you've been such a lunatic. So what happens now? I've not really planned beyond telling you, to be honest. And if you considered that I've now got this thing in my head that I can't get out, something else that you've done that I've got stuck in here. You've been selfish. Yeah. Stupid. Some people might say. Big risk you're taking. You're worth it. I could tell Jess. I could go to the police. Yeah. And you'd do what? Run. What? Well, if, if you go to the police, it means that me and you aren't going to happen. And if that's the case, the future starts to look a bit bleak, so I might as well make the most of it, and prison ain't that. So are you and Chaz on the run? <sighs> I'm not going to run, am I? I mean, if you go to the police, do you know what? I reckon I'll get away with it, actually, you know? But where would that leave you? Uh, again, I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. Whatever you do, I'll live with. And I'll still love you. Because there's you and only you. There's no more me and Chaz. There never really was. No. Yes, yeah, always stuff to cross. Have I said that already? <laughs> right, sorry. Oh, you are a sweetheart. I am, actually. OK, then, thanks. Bye. <clears throat> Andreas thinks I have a wonderful voice and he could listen to me all day. I also think Andreas is a little bit of a sex pest. Ooh. <laughs> Does he deliver? He had a voice like Jane Horrocks. 
Mm. Oh. Right, so come on then. What is all this mystery friend business, eh? You've got a little secret? <laughs> it's not like that. Mm, pardon me for caring. Well, that's what she's doing for him. No, no, no. Seriously, for a moment, while I'm still able to be, I think you're great for helping him through his problem. No, I do. It's not easy. I mean, I know from Holly. What is his problem? Uh, nothing. Don't be modest. You're doing such a lovely thing. Drugs. Right. Outdoor fun is all good, but I refuse to pee in the corner. Two ticks. Can I just say something? No, let me. Won't take long. Two words, in fact. Totally betrayed. Would you pick Sarah and Jack up? No, no. You're gonna give me an escort? I'd rather sleep. It's been about nine months since I've had a full night. I reckon I might just manage it tonight. Wherever that may be. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? No, nope, I've got that covered. I barely sleep. And when I do, I have nightmares and they wake me up. I left Carl's kids without a dad, Debs. Kids need their dad. I mean, mine need me, but I don't know when I'm going to see him next door, even if, you know. I put Jess through hell. And all right, she's free now, but there's, you know, there's, there's baggage to thinking that you've... I mean, I know because I did it, so I'm, I'm gonna have to live with that forever. But, but you know what bigger than all of that is the thought of losing you. I mean, I can live with the rest, and I do. But not having you, I, I don't think I can. Not enough. Talk. You've told so many lies that just want the truth. Is there anything else I need to know? No. Okay. Okay, what? Okay. We'll get through it. We? Oui. Stopped. I'm not going to be in a fair. No, of course not. You won't have to be. I'll, I'll finish it with Chaz. What? Now. <laughs> 